Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. I'm a toxic bitch, call me hazmat huh? If you count my wins, no, it's plenty If you count my men, no, it's many You want issues with me, must be kidding If not, I can send that smoke up like a chimney When the merry go round, I feel crunchy Love the fact that my palm was itchy These niggas in love wanna marry me now And they hate that they can't rob in 50 My cup run it over, is trippy Then I look at your cup and it's sippy He got away with it But he ain't get away with it Uh-oh Uh-oh Grown man blog, something we gotta deal with. So no matter how many of them fabricated lines he said, it ain't going Rex wants chess. T-Rex wants chess in New York. Um, I'ma start. Salute to the subscribers, first and foremost, every single one of y'all, et cetera, et cetera. Gang, 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 I don't bang since potty train. Salute to Iconic Bears, you know what I'm saying? That hooked me up with a t-shirt, check them out on. Instagram, Iconic Bears. If you got merch, you got merch and shit like that, you wanna push your merch, you wanna send some merch, hit me on the IG, Vada underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi. Got a lot of people's merch, I be rocking it, I be talking about it in the videos and things like that, yeah, yeah. So, um, Rex wants chess. <sighs> Let me be nice, first and foremost, you know what I mean? Rex is a iconic figure from New York, one of the first real bigger battle rappers, I remember him battling Uncasa in the park with all the chains on. He spit that shit on the radio, he spit that shit on the radio. Back in the back in the back in the back, remember me? Um, so I give Rex his respect, his admiration through that. Then he had the big moment at Sound of Madness. One of my favorite bars ever, actually. Them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I squeeze, it look like a Gucci crime scene. No, I said, them shotgun shells is red and lime green. So when I squeeze, I'm Gucci before the crime scene. Versus Verb, one to 10,000 from Puffy. 10,000 was a big deal. Back in the day, now I know now these days, these niggas be like, I get 15, I get 20, I get 50 a show, I get 100. But back in the day, Niggas getting 10,000 was a lot of money. And Rex won that. Uh, you know, Rex had ups and downs in his career. In the app era, you know what I'm saying? It really hasn't transitioned over. Uh, I was thinking about like some of his last four or five performances. And um, he doesn't have any wins. You know what I'm saying? Him versus Easy was a loss. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And the other joints too. I was like, his app record is 0 and 3 or whatever the case may be. And I know one was a one rounder versus Rock, and then there was another one too. But I did check the record to see. But he has he's 0 and 3 on the app. I know he had Battle Reed. That didn't go the way he wanted to. So, Rex to New York niggas be like Tim's and Bodegas and shit. Like, niggas really like, New York niggas really rock with Rex, but niggas rock with Chess too. And I say that to say this, you know what I'm saying? I don't got the best relationship with Rex. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know one time he had put out a song where he was going that easy, and I had did a reaction to it, and I got calls from, like, left and right. Yo, Rex, don't, it's Rex said Lee, take his record down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the record was super crazy. I just did it to show love, but, uh, you know, it was what it was. So I took it down because niggas was like, yo, not because nobody called me like, yo, nigga, it's up. It was like, yo, niggas was really trying to get my fucking channel taken down. Like, yo, if you don't take that record down, niggas, I was like, man, fuck this. It ain't that good. So I took it down. Uh, so now he wants, you know what I'm saying, he's been still battling and shit like that. I seen him jumping a couple one-rounders here and there. And the thing is, we don't have to be cool for me to, you know, talk about what you're doing, your accomplishments, shit like that, and if you're booming. But he's not winning no battles. He hasn't won any battles recently. Um, so now he wants chess. Uh... I don't know if that, I mean, these niggas be having battle rap lifespans where they can rap and battle forever, you know what I'm saying? And they don't have to win any battles, they can just, you know, show up, do what they do, get a check and bounce. Um, Chess would, he's not doing anything with Chess. Not in New York too, that's just not gonna, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. And it was because Rex had an interview on Hip Hop Is Real, and salute to all of the Hip Hop Is Reals and everybody who do interviews and shit like that. But he basically like walked off, like I said chess, and walks the fuck off in the middle of the interview. I don't know if I got that in me. That's why I really don't do interviews because that, <laughs> like nigga walking off in the middle of the interview, like interview's over, it's done, I'm out of here. Okay, well that's cool. Um, but him versus chess, I don't see that. Oh yeah, K-Shine too, he didn't win the K-Shine battle. I think he got 30 versus Shine, got 30 versus Easy. Uh, you know what 
what I'm saying? Like, so he's not really winning battles in this era, but he's good for booking because he can promote well, he talks his shit well. I think he battled Rosenberg over on RBE. Didn't win that one either. I don't remember, honestly, I don't remember the last battle that Rex won. But when you have a battle rap lifespan, you can continue to respawn and come back again and again and again and again. And there's somebody somewhere that will make sense of it from a histor oh, from a historical perspective. Rex is one of them niggas from New York. That niggas can never sleep on the OG. I get it, cool. That's cool with me. But Chess right now, especially coming off of the Calico battle, and he ain't battled since, you know what I'm saying? And the funny thing about the Calico joint, yes, Chess got smoked. But before that battle, he was on a crazy run. Like his run, he was he was he was definitely wigging in battles. He was showing up with three rounds. He'd occasionally have a uh, uh, but once he gets it out, uh, uh, nigga, it's family. It's like you know your cousin, right? You know what I'm saying? Like it's like your cousin, like you know what he likes, what he doesn't like, if he has acid reflux, you know what I'm saying? Your cousin may he may eat, you know after he eat, he gonna fall asleep, you know what I'm saying? He might got narcolepsy. You know, you just know, like chess is like our cousin, we know. But when he's right. He's right. Easy come, easy go. And then he had to pick the stick up the kid. Like, like, come on, son. He went crazy versus low. So he went crazy versus the kid chaos. He went crazy versus easy to block captain. And the, the nigga run was fire. And he just had a run, a battle versus Calico, where just material, just the material, people, material was crazy, comparable, or even better than the shit that Cal was spinning. But what is my good material that you can't get out? So he was like fucking up his rounds and shit, stumbling, fumbling through his rounds, and I don't think it's because he didn't remember them. I think it's because, you know, that acid, that shit right there, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. So now you're in the position that you're in now. Uh, I haven't seen or heard anything from Chess. I know Chess has a lot of respect for the OGs from New York, but let's not get it twisted for one second. Chess will destroy. Will. <laughs> Ooh, I hope they book it. I do. I do. I do. I do hope they book it. I do. I, I, I like to see shit like that. Like, you think K Shine did a number on Rex? Put that nigga in front of. What can. I just want to know what can Rex do with the version of Chess that we've seen versus Easy? What can he do with that? Nothing. I don't think there's nothing he can do with that. And it's no. And the thing is, I know you might, you know what I'm saying? Some people see the truth. As disrespect, you know what I'm saying? Like facts are the opinion. Are the, uh, facts are the opponent of feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas, you know, they get the fact. The feelings get involved when the facts are spoken. And the fact is, at this current point in time, I don't care if it's a big room. I don't care if it's a small room. I don't care if it's a medium room. I don't care if it's a tall room. I don't care if it's a night room. I don't care if it's a ballroom. He's not beating chess. Period. It don't matter. And we could bet whatever. Nah, I ain't bet whatever with these niggas. No, no, no. I will not bet a nickel versus none of these niggas because Diverse Swamp just came out, right? Determine over trust. Dot. Do not trust Dot. Dot hit me up and bet me 200 that he would beat Swamp. And I figured I'd mention this. He figured he'd be 200 he'd beat Swamp. I said, nah, 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 nah. You niggas don't be getting paid like that. So I dropped it to 100. So I dropped it to 100. This nigga got 30. It, the votes is like almost 7, 800 to like 60. The nigga lost every fucking round versus Swamp. And I ain't seen or heard from that nigga since. <laughs> and then you got Innocent Birds next. I got Innocent Birds 3 0, 4 0, 5 0, 10 0. But I'm not betting on that with none of you nigga battle rap niggas. These niggas be broke, bro. That's the reason why I don't bet with these niggas. These niggas. I think $100 would have really, really fucked up that nigga algorithm. So I'm good. I ain't betting with none of these niggas no more. Bum. But back to uh, Chess. So Chess, um, and then the nigga made a blog about it. Like, the media got me fucked up. The media got me fucked up. I'm on this run. Watch what happens. Nigga got destroyed, son. 40. But it's cool. Um, but like I said, from a historic perspective, you know what I'm saying, Rex is one of the big, big, big goat, goat, goat names. We're gonna always remember you for what you did. Not gonna do. But what you did and what you're doing and what you've done are three different things. What you did, what you've done, and what you're doing. All different. What you're doing right now, you know, you're gonna show up, you're gonna have rounds, you're gonna growl, you're gonna get in niggas' faces, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna crowd, you're gonna bump niggas, you're gonna throw your hat on the floor and shit. But the power moves, the power moves from back in the day that niggas was doing, them shits do not be working like that. 
and niggas be spitting a lot of mixtape rounds and shit like that. And then you had like shit, Reed just battled A Ward like about a couple weeks ago, came out on RBE, and niggas spit that punch in your face, motherfucker, I knock your teeth out. Freestyle. It was literally a freestyle off of a song, you know what I'm saying? But it's Reed. And then it's about updating your shit. Reed has updated his resume. E Ness just updated his resume. He has a crazy battle with Mac Myron now. Yes, it's a lot of gas. Yes, niggas is reacting. Yes, oh my god. The crowd reactions are starting to become a lot. I'll talk about that in another blog. Gwitty was in there doing the Gwitty and shit. It was like niggas was trying to out Gwitty Gwitty. Shit's crazy. But let me stay on track. So yeah. Uh, Chess versus <laughs> Rex. Alright, I, I, I'm gonna just cut a chase. I got a Chess 3 0 if it happens. Whatever. 3 0, no hero. Uh, I don't see Chess. Chess would literally have to go and not get through his material. But if he writes or gets through his shit, what is he gonna do with it? I just wanna, I, I like, jump in the comments please below and let me know what can Chess do with Rex at this point in time? Cause I don't think it's much. You already know what it is, man. Gang, gang. Pat, I'm a toxic bitch, call me hazmat. <laughs> if you count my wins, no, it's plenty. If you count my men, no, it's many. You want issues with me, must be kidding. If not, I can send that smoke up like a chimney. When the merry go round, I feel crunchy. Love the fact that my palm is itchy. These niggas in love wanna marry me now, and they hate that they can't rob in 50. My cup run it over, it's trippy. Then I look at your cup and it's sippy. Just mind how you handle your envy, feel pressure. I'll air this shit out in the jiffy. Said when I was done, that's a quickie. I don't touch it myself, cause it's sticky. I'll stick to my rules, and a nigga that's cool with his black muscle tool, call him Mickey. Mickey.